Well, hello, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to our weekly show about our Spirit Heart Cruise, and we're introducing our presenters that will be on the Spirit Heart Cruise. Uh, today, I'm really excited about having my friend, Reverend Kevin Lee, uh, come on and talk about his work and what he'll be doing on the cruise. Um, I'll let him talk about all that, so I'm not going to introduce him in that sense, but I'll bring him and my business partner, Tina Michelle, on, and uh, we will be chatting uh, here for the next little bit about the cruise. So, um, and just remember, if you want any information, you go to spiritheartcruises.com, and then you'll be able to find out more information about the, the cruise at, there, at that website as well. So I'm going to bring Tina and, and Kevin on right now, so just bear with me one second. Hello, Kevin. And there hello. we go. Hi there. Hi. So um, I am going to uh, just jump off and say I'm excited about this cruise. I'm excited, uh, uh, Kevin, for you to be one of our presenters. And of course, to the amazing place that we're going to be going to. That's amazing, super exciting. Amazing, amazing. So, it's going to be uh, so amazing. Thank you, Tina, Michelle. Thank you, Jeremy. I am super excited. I mean, who gets to, I don't get to go on a cruise very, very often. This is my first cruise. <laughs> oh. uh, and I get to actually, it's a working vacation for me and I'm actually okay with that. <laughs> well, Tina is a cruise, the cruise professor. She knows anything about cruises. Wow. Um, she actually teaches college courses on cruises. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think that's a good business idea. That'd make a nice, interesting webinar. Cruising 101. Yep. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So I'm going to like, I know Tina has some questions to ask you, Kevin. And sure. uh, we'll kind of flow through this together. I've got those questions up here as well. Um, and then we'll kind of jump right into it and uh, uh, then answer any questions that people put up. If you guys have any questions, you know, put them in the comments so that we can answer them. And um, we'll obviously try to answer your questions as best as possible. Well, so thank you, Jeremy. Absolutely. Okay. Um, first of all, Kevin, I'm so glad you are a first time cruiser because I want to give some quick little tips tonight. First tip is for anyone who's interested in coming with us, whether you've signed up yet or not, please go to the website, spiritheartcruises.com and sign up for the newsletter. We're going to have, for example, we're going to have this interview on there. We're going to have the interview last week with Dr. Lewis Gates, the medium. And each week uh, uh, I'll be sending out a newsletter and we'll have whoever that guest is that week. We'll have their interview right there to click easily and to watch. Now, Kevin, some things you want, you're want you going to want to bear in mind on your first time cruise is expectations. Uh, the first time I went, well, you live in Fort Lauderdale, so you've probably seen the cruise ships. I I've had never seen, seen a cruise ship. I've seen them. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea when they said floor 15, they meant 15 stories high. <laughs> that these things were like a building laying on their side. They're wow. so huge. But um, one of the quick little things I want to talk about, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. is your cabin with you. Because that can be... Uh, people can walk into their cabin expecting the size of a hotel room. Mm -hmm. And I have been in hotel rooms this size in Chicago. Okay, I will admit it. It was like a broom closet. But uh -huh. um, our rooms are quite spacious, I feel. Uh, we have two twin beds, or they can be put together to make, wow. I guess, a king or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, you, each person has a nightstand. There is a a nice bathroom with a vanity there, but there's also a vanity inside the bedroom area so that if you and your partner both like to shower and get ready mm -hmm. at the same time for dinner, you have plenty of vanity space. So wow. be prepared for all of that. Some little tips to bring is these little magnetic hooks that come out that have hooks. You can put them on your walls because the walls are magnetic. Oh. Okay. Yeah, they hold all kinds of, you know, when you go to ports and you get your little, I've been to Acapulco or uh -huh. I've been to Cozumel or whatever, you'll be able to put those right on your, right on your wall. But uh, those little hooks help hold hats and, and, and lanyards and uh, tote bags and all sorts of things. So huh. make sure you pack that, Kevin. Okay. 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 So I want to talk a little bit about you and what you do. And if I may, Jeremy, is it okay if I just launch in here? Great. So, Kevin, first of all, let's get your website out there because it's R-E-V, mm -hmm. Rev, Kevin Lee, L-E-E, 
com. Is that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. And I think everyone watching this can agree. He is superiorly handsome. You got to come just, <laughs> just because he's so handsome and listen to his workshop. But not only is he handsome, he's intelligent. And yeah. he's also very well rounded in his knowledge yeah. of what he what he does, who he is, and what he can help you do. So, Kevin, your workshop is on something called, and Jeremy and I had never heard of it, and I we've both been in the industry for a long time. Mm -hmm. We'd never heard of precipitation mediumship. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, it's fun. It's interesting because a lot of people, when I mention it, they they don't even know how to respond because they're trying to process. Okay, I've heard that word precipitation on the news channel. It has something to do with the weather channel, <laughs> rain or snow or something like that. Actually, those are some kind of clues to what it is. It's actually uh, it's actually a, a type of pigment that falls out of the atmosphere, or as I call it, the ethers. And spirit is behind this. Precipitation mediumship really is a form of spirit communication because okay. there is an intelligence behind the phenomena that's taking place in all types of settings. It could be a seance room. It could be a, a church building. It could be uh, in your home. It could be outside, uh, actually outside. I have stories of outside phenomena. And spirit will produce images and writings and even symbol, symbols that are recognizable, that are evidential, that are synchronistic to what is happening in your life. They're so meaningful. That is a form of spirit communication, really, because so much of that phenomena is all about we're here to heal you. We're here to remind you we have not left you. We may have dropped the body, but our spirit is still with you. We walk beside you. There is no death. Life continues on. These are all the messages when you when it all boils down to is we still love you. We're still with you. And this is our proof. This is our precipitated mediumship phenomena. So that's really what it is. You know, as you say that, I hadn't even thought about it until you you said symbol. And that's that's when it clicked. I actually had a receipt, a McDonald's receipt. Uh -huh. And I was on a plane that almost went down. Oh. And when I got home, like most of us who are in business, you right. know, we get all of our seats together, right, for our tax person. And uh, as I opened it, it had the symbol of a floor de lis. Hmm. That's my symbol. That's my symbol with Archangel Michael. And it was on that receipt, which I have oh. in my I got goosebumps head to, head to toes. <laughs> That's precipitation mediumship, right? That's exactly what that is. Let me tell you something. Let's take that even further. Let's go deeper with this. So you told me that this appeared on a receipt. I know you. You are highly detail oriented. Spirit yes. knows you. Archangel Michael clearly knows you because he worked with you. However, he knew exactly where you would be looking in the days to come yes. to place the phenomena that you would find because a lot of people throw receipts away because they're not business minded. And that goes to show you spirit still has intelligence on the other side. When I leave the earthly plane and I go to the other side, my mind continues, the intelligence continues, my personality. This happened to be an angelic personality that supports you and guides you, but still it is intelligence. And so that just amazes me. Head to toe, goosebumps, gaudy bumps, whatever you want to call them. Amazing because it just it's just one more confirmation, a story I've heard a hundred times, a thousand times. Spirit gives signs, symbols, and messages constantly, if you're looking. Well, like I said, our plane almost went down. Myself and my friend prayed. Mm -hmm. And 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 I mean, I, I tell you, our prayers helped that plane stay in the air. I believe it. And I really believe it once I got home and found that, you yep. know. Amazing. Now, what, about, what about feathers? When people say, mm -hmm. I found a feather, is that a part of precipitation mediumship? Well, I'll tell you this, you know, it's not really precipitation, but in, but it is a form of materialization. It's mm. really kind of the same phenomena. It's just that the materialization with the work that I do is, is really, it's, it, we call it precipitation because pigment is involved in producing images, symbols, writings, things like that, faces. Okay. But with the feather, it is materialization, not of pigment, but of an actual object that is transported from one location to another. 
Now with precipitation, that's exactly what they're doing also. They are dematerializing the pigment, rematerializing it, but in a totally different way that is highly evidential and meaningful to the recipient. So it's yes and a no, kind of, sort of, but it, at the base of it, that was materialization. And spirit does that all the time. Flowers, uh, uh, pennies, coins, crystals, uh, feathers, all types of things. I've right. had, we've heard stories of people who've been in, in, a, in a situation and suddenly a feather appeared where it was physically impossible for a bird to be. And a feather fell right at the moment they were discussing or about to experience or just missed a tragic moment or something like that. Right. And a feather falls as a sign. I'm in, in that spirit. Right. Right. So, Kevin, um, now, like I said, you're very well versed in this. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us, you have some materials published, right? You have some yes. books published? Yes, actually. Yes, yes, yes. Let me just pop this up real quick. So this is my latest book, Your, Your Divine Purpose. A, a journey to fulfillment and legacy. And I wrote this book because of the phenomena of precipitation, really, because about 13, 14 years ago, I had a profound, a mystical experience where I met a precipitation medium and the messages that came through and the card that was produced. And I have the card available to share with the audience live uh, here. And uh, But that card basically proved to me like we don't die, that spirit loves me that I'm worthy, I'm valuable. And that was my impetus to in my ministry to make sure other people learn you're valuable too. Let's find your purpose on earth. Let me help you. And that's why that book came to be. And really the core of the whole book's message. I'm, I'm going to walk this journey with you. You're worthy just like I am. He, he's forgetting to tell you that he's uh, an international bestseller. Oh, I'm very um, proud of that. I totally <laughs> forgot to mention it. You know, I'm very proud of that because I earned uh, Amazon's number one international bestseller for the classification of this book, uh, spiritual book. And uh, that was a, a nice surprise uh, for me. And uh, thank you for mentioning that, Jeremy. Well, on the cruise... Okay, so on the cruise, when people come to your class, mm. are you going to perform precipitation mediumship? Are, no. are they going to be taught how to do it? Can they be taught how to do it? Great. Well, those are a lot of questions, but let me tell you this. When they come to the presentation, they're going to they're going to actually experience, I'm going to immerse them into an incredibly rich uh, visual presentation, a projected presentation on my archive of artifacts, of precipitated images, writings, examples. I'm going to take you through all the research that I've done from ancient biblical times to 500 years ago to modern times. Even where is this phenomena going? What am I seeing in my own students? I teach my students how to develop this potential within themselves. And, you know, I hate to say it's a dying art, no pun intended, <laughs> but it really is such mm -hmm. a rare and incredibly, to me, it is incredibly uh, just life-changing phenomena, form of spirit communication, but yet not many people are willing to put in the time. And that's part of the key. If, if people don't have the passion to sit and dedicate themselves for years, sitting every day, a little bit every day, it, this phenomena will most likely not come forward for them. It took my mentor, one of my mentors, probably 17 years of daily sitting 30 minutes every day before the phenomena became regular and consistent and substantial. It would come and go, but it wasn't until there was, you know, an extensive amount of, of, of sitting with spirit. Now this was 35, 40 years ago, and we've entered a new age on the planet that we all know is called the age of Aquarius. What does that mean? Well, it means that there is a quickening of the human species, of Mother Earth, the planet, of our galaxy, if you will. And because of the this astrological alignment, there's a there's a, a I can't think of the word, but a speeding up of our species and human consciousness. I have witnessed people begin to develop precipitation mediumship in addition to all their other gifts, uh, a much rapid, a much faster rate than. 30 years ago, 40 years ago, when mediums developed. That just supports everything that I've learned from my mentors about the age of Aquarius. It is a quickening right. of the of the human species. And we are speeding yep. up. It's an ascension. Yes. So things yep. come faster than they did for my mentors. 
And don't you find that true with a lot of our, um, what I'm going to call, I, I'll say beginning psychics, but they're really not beginners. They've just kind of woken up. Yep. You know, Absolutely. they're they're hitting the fast track. They're hitting the ground running to yep. where, you know, me, I don't know about you, but me <laughs> years ago, I might like focus a little bit on it. And then a month or two goes by and yep. I focus again. Yep. But they're they're right on it now. Yeah, no, that's really true. I mean, you're starting to see the newbies, as I call them. Uh, they really are. Their gifts are unfolding at a quite a, at a rapid rate. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. there's good and bad to that. You know, as we know, I'm an yeah. old timer, meaning I have been in this for about 15 years. I trained in very traditional ways, very, uh, very strict guidelines. Right. And there were a lot of hoops we had to jump through and and, uh, and a lot of effort had to be made to travel to get to these destinations to be trained. And nowadays uh, people have things that just on their phones, on their computers. Right. And uh, but but nowadays people are developing quickly, but also it lends to a sense of I'm going to say selfishness. I don't know what else to call it. It's mm -hmm. it's an it's a hyper inflated sense of self that can be a double-edged sword it can it can help them and hurt them right and i think that quickening of the speed of the unfoldment of their gifts it shows them the great potential inside but that can also uh as they say push us a little closer to the dark side of behavior uh you know things like that i won't go too much into that but but basically we have to still be responsible and respectful to spirit and with our gifts they can be taken away i've seen spirit do it now, do you teach yourself? I mean, not teach. Mm -hmm. Do you teach comma yourself? Question mark. <laughs> do I teach myself? <laughs> you got it. Yes, I do teach. And uh, this fall, this spring coming up, I'll be teaching even more, especially virtually. And uh, I teach every week. I have a weekly precipitation mediumship development circle. I have students all over the world that jump in. And Great. it's really an open circle. What does that mean? It means that it's open to anyone who is interested in spirit art, uh, ba some of the basics, I actually teach some extra things beyond that. You know, what are chakras? How do we uh, build our life force energy? What are what what are the clairs, the the clair, uh, the, the psychic clair sisters, if you will, in right. our psychic potentials? I teach a lot of little things uh, right. just as a bonus for the students. But that's really predominantly what I'm teaching right now. Now, one thing I was interested in is you're going to be offering sessions mm. on the cruise. And um, I, I read the description of that and I was so <laughs> interested because it's not precipitation mediumship, no. but it's you actually sitting down and helping someone yep. assess what their spiritual primary, secondary, I think you say traditionary, traditionary for the third, whatever. Right. Tertiary. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you you're going to help them decipher what their gifts are and where their yep. uh, strengths are. You know, it's interesting because uh, I'm a skeptic. I'm still a skeptic by nature. I'm constantly oh, reassessing all, all my friends who are mediums, my friends who are healers, my friends who are intuitives. I'm always watching and listening and studying them to making making sure they're still on the up and up. So over right. the years, as I, as I began to develop my own intuitive potentials, I still kept second guessing myself. I've got to be making this stuff up. This can't be real. Right. Finally, I got over that. OK, so then I started noticing when I would give messages from the platform in church and public venues and I would uh, begin to notice that certain people were more healer type energy. Certain people mm -hmm. seem to be more what's called physical mediumship, where they can produce physical phenomena, right. things to levitate, things to disappear, reappear, things to move or, 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 or all kinds of things. And I started sharing this with people and people said, you know, Kevin, that's exactly what people have been telling me, but I didn't want to believe it. And you're the third or fourth person who's told me that it must be true. And I thought, you know, that's interesting. People are seem really into learning. Why, why don't they know? And I think people just don't really know where to look with their gifts. They, right. They're told, you know, there's so many things you can do. And I had happened to go to the Arthur Findlay College in England, which is just outside of London. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is a spiritualist college for people who are wanting to develop their psychic, mediumistic and healing potentials. It is a mm -hmm. traditional college. Uh, you can go and take weekly, monthly classes. And every week of every year, there's classes, incredible teachers, an incredible history of spiritualism there. 
and I witnessed a couple of teachers, they call them tutors, they were offering something called a spiritual assessment. And I thought, what the heck is that? And it was exactly what I was beginning to notice, what was in my spirit, which was they began to tell, even in my reading with them, because I booked a reading and they said, these are your potentials. And I, I said to them, that's funny you say that. That's exactly what I'm thinking about actually developing next. It's been on my mind. And they said, well, that's what spirit says. And I said, can you teach me how to do what you do? And so I began to take some classes with the teachers and I, people really loved it. And I really have enjoyed, I have found over the years, it's gotten even stronger and just listening to someone's voice. I can almost instantly tell you exactly what their gifts strengths are and what they're not paying attention to what they're avoiding because Ooh. maybe they have preconceived notions that go against what their spirit is telling them to develop. You know, there could be religious reasons or could be family right. reasons. And it is such a fun reading to do for people. And I enjoy them. So I love doing spiritual assessments. I can do that usually within half an hour and really get to the core of what are the potentials that the spirit uh, is telling me to tell you what can I feel in your soul energy as great potentials if you're willing to open the book or take the class and begin to assess how that feels for you? So uh, I really enjoy them. And I've noticed from time to time I can do that for businesses. That's been oh, really nice too. So it's no different. There's always a leader of a business and they are the soul of the business. So if I can tap into that leader, I can tap into the soul of the business as well. I I think that is an amazing type of a reading because, um, you know, we're, we're going to have several readers on the cruise, but this is a different type of a reading mm -hmm. to where even those who are in our industry, you know, we've got a lot of psychics, healers, mediums coming yes. as guests as well. And, um, you know, maybe they want to see, you know, what, what is my next level? Because mm -hmm. like myself personally, every few years I get a, what's what I call a level up. You know what I mean? Been there. Something new comes in and it blows yes. my mind, you know? So um, that's very exciting. Now I know you're offering a discount. Yes. And um, so people could email you ahead of time, couldn't they, to, to get on your list for the cruise? Absolutely. That would be wonderful. You know, if, if they would like to reach out to me either through any of a lot of the uh, social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, uh, uh, or through my website, you can basically go to the social media channels and put in uh, Rev Kevin Lee, R E V Kevin Lee, and you'll find me uh, right. that way very quickly. And just let me know you're interested in uh, in in connecting with me on the cruise and possibly looking into getting an assessment. We'll be we're going to have those offered on the ship, and I hope people uh, find that interesting. I'll make myself available. And they have to decide to take action if that's something that would interest them. I know it's unusual. I don't know if there'd be interest, but I'm there to, to do my part and shine and see if I can be of any support uh, for the attendees. I love the weird and unusual. Now, I you're love. located in Fort Lauderdale. Yes. For those who may be watching that, um, you know, may live around that area that mm -hmm. wants to meet with you live. And they could also catch you on your website for that, yeah. right? Absolutely. Okay. I think I ran Jeremy off. I'm not sure. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> there he is. There he is. I was just managing, managing just like things a, from the background. Just like a little spirit guide popping in when needed. Yeah, I was just managing things from the background. And always it's always weird to have three three people up sometimes because I feel oh, like I'm on Hollywood squares. squares. And every time I go on the Tribune show, I my box is always the middle. And Mo always tells me I'm Whoopi Goldberg. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I put some comments up here, guys. Um, obviously, I put up uh, Kevin's website. Um, it, every, every time we do one of these shows, there's always we get a message in the uh, uh, in our inbox that asks um, if it could, we could give more information. Mm -hmm. And no doubt, we we don't mind answering questions. But most of your questions are here on the website, mm -hmm. and so. Uh, um, but I was going to say, Kevin, do you have any precipitation mediumship that you can show? I know you. Were yes, I you. actually I have some. We call them precipitated spirit cards, okay? And I'm going to share with you. Uh, just allow me to. There we go. I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to show you some, uh, just a few uh, examples of precipitated spirit card writing. 
and that includes images as well. So enjoy the little, uh, just, just a drop in the bucket of some amazing things that I'm going to share with you. Can you see that? All right. So this is one of the cards that I received from my mentor many, uh, probably about seven years ago. And uh, this is an image actually of one of my uh, guides, uh, uh, Dr. Reed. And uh, he's my doctor of philosophy. And I just think it's a spectacular perspective. Spirit create. This is what I want you all and your viewers, your listeners to understand. No human drew this image. No human uh, uh, hands were involved. No, no tools were involved. And this is spirit dematerializing pigment, which is basically crayons, markers, ballpoint pens, Sharpies, uh, gel pens, things like that. And then they rematerialize it in a very intelligent way. Uh, it truly incredible. This was the card that changed my life. This was the card that told me I wasn't a sinner, that sin is not a, is not a truth. Uh, uh, it's unfortunately been a, a misappropriated weapon, <laughs> but, mm -hmm. but basically this was a card of mother Mary and father Joseph. Mother Mary brought the message through and told me that she had guided me to my church, the church that ult ultimately would become my center of light, what I'm known for the metaphysical chapel of South Florida. And we COVID unfortunately helped me release that last year. But, uh, this really proved to me that I was of value and that I could have purpose on this earth as a human being. And that card literally changed me, transformed me, healed me in a matter of minutes, hours, really. And I, I, uh, I wrote about, I write about that whole experience in my book. I think you'll find that story interesting. This is a beautiful card because literally if you, if I don't know if you can see, but there are probably five faces in the card. Mm -hmm. There are three obvious yellow faces and there's a fourth one at the bottom kind of covered in the pinkness down at the below, mm -hmm. but there's even a face in the hidden in the pink. There's mm -hmm. so many layers in these. And uh, uh, some of these, two of the faces I recognize from other mediums who have produced images, 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 <laughs> images for me through precipitation. And uh, just, it, it blows my mind that, that the same image can come from two different mediums in different parts of the world and they have no clue that I'm out looking for this stuff. This is an example of spirit card writing. Now, this is actually the front side of those card images you just saw on the previous slides. Oh. And what you see here is this: these are two-sided images or two-sided cards. And so what you see here is spirit has written my name. I'm going to tell you something. It says, if I can turn it, there we go. It says Kevin Lee dot, dot, dot. You know why? because they know I'm hiding my family name because I keep my two worlds separate, my career and my spirit work. So right. they're teasing me. We know your last name, but we won't write it. And <laughs> that is amazing. That's spirit humor. You guys, that is spirit humor. They're, they're like needling me constantly with that. They laugh at me because they think it's silly. Uh, I want to show you this also. Well, it doesn't show on this card, and I, I don't have any more to show you loaded, but I will tell you this spirit is so ingenious. They will choose the specific color of pen, silver, for instance, for the spirit guide, the very famous one, silver birch, right? They will choose a lilac colored pen for one of my spirit guides named lilac. They've done that before. Loved ones have come through and they put a heart next to their name. These wow. people did not know my loved one's names. So in because my loved ones come from a little farm in Texas, <laughs> nowhere, Texas. And how incredible, though, that my family members in spirit would come through and attach a heart to their name. But but out of all the other names that I've received on numerous cards, there were no hearts. Interesting. So just beautiful things like that. I have have I've had so many incredible experiences where uh, where uh, spirit has. Uh, produced symbols and names and 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 even signatures. I didn't even mention that. I have seen identical signatures of the departed that exist in museums. And when I took the card that I'd received to a museum to verify it, it was shocking how accurate it was. That amazed me as well. Uh, just so much. I get so excited about this stuff. I see my. I saw my. I actually can see on the other screen my departed brother's name. 
And uh, let me tell you, that was an interesting moment because that card allowed me to go to the person that took his life to say, I need you to let it go. You haven't uh, killed my brother. You have only dropped the body, but my brother's okay. He's still alive because he just showed up the day I was talking about him. He wrote his name on a card. So I want you to know that. And you know what? It, I think it brought healing to that person's spirit. It was an accident sure. on shooting. It was a, a hunting trip. And there was yeah. an accident that happened. And uh, and that was an incredible healing moment. I got to share what I believed in. The person got to heal whatever to whatever level they could heal. They weren't into all this, but but they also were struggling with the fact that they caused another person to exit early. And I sure. said, I don't blame you. I never right. blamed you. But I want you to forgive yourself because this is proof that He's still around us. And he came to let me know he's okay. So, hey, he's okay. Don't worry about it. Let it go. Let's focus on life, living life. We're here to live life, not worry about the past. So that's just, I get so excited. I could talk for hours about this stuff. I have, I have so many examples to show you guys that are going to knock your socks off. I'm telling you, you're going to be shocked at what I share with you. Well, my socks are halfway off as we speak, <laughs> so I cannot wait to see uh, your workshop. I cannot Good. wait to be a part of that because, I mean, that is something that we offer on Spirit Heart Cruises. It's like regardless of what your level is, if you are just beginning and like, I don't know, I'm thinking I might, my dreams come true or, oh my gosh, I keep seeing things out of the corner of my eye. Whatever your level is, mm -hmm. brand new beginner, we welcome you. We've got classes just for you intermediate i i i i know i'm psychic i you know i throw some tarot cards once in a while <laughs> we have classes for you advanced we have classes for you because we understand that to actually learn and evolve you must meet with equal or higher than your vibration to move to level up and that's what we want to do is level you up and uh regardless of what level you are currently at so that's that's amazing kevin i cannot wait to participate in this really that's what that's and i will say jeremy and tina props to you all because it, many months ago when i kind of discovered all of this your cruise and and what you're offering one thing i noticed right off the bat was the teachers that you guys had invited to to teach and speak were of all different types of of categories and levels mm -hmm. And I noticed that that I could see consumers, I'll call them consumers, uh, 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 partaking at a basic level, a, a, a moderate level or mid-range level and an advanced level. And I think that's so important because we have so many different types of consumers in our communities. Some are ready, just all they can handle is the frequency of light at the beginner's level. And right. some are, are ready to push beyond the mid-range level to the more advanced stuff. But if we can show our audiences what is possible in the human condition, being the spirit in the human body, anything is possible with, with God, with spirit. And so we have to show them, and I think you guys have set it up beautifully to prepare them to really realize, you know what, I guess I can expand beyond just being a healer. I can expand beyond mm -hmm. just being a medium. I can expand to become even more because I just saw it on this cruise. And exactly. I think that's amazing. I mean, and, and another thing is when they, you know, when we all have dinner together, when we all hang around together, go get coffee, go to the pool, whatever, go on a shore excursion on a trip, go to Cozumel, <laughs> Costa Maya, you know, the beautiful exotic places we're visiting. Um, a lot of times you'll be in a conversation, maybe you're on the bus getting ready to go out to the Mayan ruins and you're like, I don't know, you know, just... I get to keep getting smells. I smell coffee. I smell oh. cigarettes. I smell rose. And the other person goes, me too. Me too. And you, you meet a lifelong friend, you know, you flush sure. each other out. Well, what does it mean when this happens and what that happens? And mm -hmm. there's just so much growth that, um, I mean, I did these cruises under another name for 10, ten years. No, I had 10 cruises, five years to, to a year for five years. And, people were making these their family vacations. Oh, wow. You know, they would come every single year as their family vacation because, wow. you know, where can you have all of this? Yep. Hotel accommodations, five-star dining, entertainment, uh, everything, everything. And, and the conference. Well, and the conference, all for this price. Incredible. 
I mean, just seeing one of our gifted speakers for a weekend yep. would probably end up costing you about what it costs for a week long yep. of 13 presenters. Hmm. That's true. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. I, it's in job, my passion. It's my passion. You can't tell she's excited at all. <laughs> and I love to cruise. So, yay. Well, it's going to be a good day because my shirt says all this white says awesome. I love so that. We're going to have an awesome day, an awesome cruise. <laughs> well, if you haven't seen it, guys, I've been putting up on the uh, um, on the screen, you know, go check out things at um, Spirit Heart Cruise. I also put up here an explanation that Kevin's already explained, but what is participation, uh, precipitation mediumship? Um, and then uh, even another uh, question, what is the most unusual thing to come from precipitation medium session? Oh, and uh, that's that's in the comments uh, here as well. I put them in the comments, but I'm just putting them up on the screen. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, if you want more information, go to spiritheartcruises.com. And Kevin's uh, website is uh, revkevinlee.com. Um, so. Definitely. They can learn a little bit more about precipitation mediumship in my website. There's actually a whole a page just dedicated to that, just to give them a little more so a taste and an invite to what precipitation mediumship is. I think they'll enjoy that too. Amazing. So, well, um, we had, didn't get any necessarily questions. We have people watching, but I'm sure that they will come in later on. Mm -hmm. um, Wonderful. Tim, is there anything else that you wanted to discuss? Or, um... Um, if I could, uh, for the people that's watching, um, I didn't, I mean, Jeremy and I've said before to each other, I've never heard of this. And he's like, I haven't either. And, and, but when you said symbols, mm -hmm. Jeremy, I have a piece of this I, and I'm going to take a picture of it please. Soon as we're done, and allow you, Jeremy, wherever this is being posted, let's post the picture of Good. my piece of precipitation mediumship, yes, it is. that receipt with that emblem on it. I mean, That's incredible. Oh, it blew me away. Really and my friend too. Because my friend is like, you know, we were looking in my purse and I'm like, I don't have anything with this symbol, like pressing wow. up against it or. Amazing. You yeah, know. there, there's so many stories. It, it's just incredible. There's just never enough time to to share all the amazing stories that I've heard, I've read, I've discovered and, and things I've, I've witnessed, really. And, uh, you know, there so many examples. One good example is uh, a lady was was speaking about a particular spirit guide and she walked into a room next door uh it was cold outside and the snow or the ice on the window had shifted and there was a message there was a word in the uh in the window and cool. then uh there and it, it it basically was the key word of what she was speaking about and then another example uh somebody was uh, speaking the, in a bathroom to spirit talking about their, their struggles and spirit pushed their face into the fogged mirror and they were able to capture a picture of it. So that is a form of manipulation of, of some of the precipitated um, air droplets, if you will, the, the, in the room, it was amazing. So that always reminds me of Bugs Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kill the rabbit, kill the rabbit. <laughs> amazing stuff amazing 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 i'm excited i'm excited well wonderful guys um thank you everybody for watching um we're just waiting to confirm on our presenter that we're going to have next week um but i hope it is going to be um our friend uh dr angela may uh to talk about uh her course on numerology and uh, or what she's going to be presenting and so uh well, we have plenty of other speakers we're going to be doing these at seven o'clock on tuesdays um well for the next few months so um look forward to it and uh, uh everybody peace and uh hope to see you on the spirit heart cruises thank you everyone thank you, thank you, Tina. Thank you kevin very much right. bye